okay welcome we are going to see about the cation exchange capacity we're going to look on this concept through diagrams as follows this is the schematic look at the cation exchange here we have cation exchange capacity of 25 25 more clay more positions to hold the cations therefore as we have more clays we can see that we can we can now be able to to see how how it is therefore we have the hydrogen ion we have the calcium ion we have magnesium ion we have the sodium ion and potassium ion as you can see the arrows that has calcium goes to this direction here it places hydrogen therefore this is sand and this is clay as you can see here therefore 50 cation exchange capacity have clay zero cation exchange capacity this is sand common CEC range some practical applications soils with the cation exchange capacity 11 to 50 range high clay content more lime required to correct a given ph greater capacity to hold the nutrients in a given soil depth physical ramification of a soil with a high clay content high water holding capacity soils with cation exchange capacity this is one up to ten range here we have the high sand content nitrogen and potassium leaching more likely less lime required to correct a, a given ph physical ramifications of a soil with a high sand content low water holding capacity what is cation exchange capacity cation exchange capacity this is the number of cation ab absorption sites per unit weight of a soil Therefore, this is the number of cation adsorption sites per unit weight of a soil. Or, this is the sum total of exchangeable cations that a soil can absorb. Can absorb the sum total of exchangeable cations that a soil can absorb. Cation exchange capacity is expressed in milli equivalents. MEQ per 100 gram of oven dry soil. Equivalent weight, we have the molecular or atomic weight per or over valence or charges per formula. Therefore, equivalent weight is molecular or atomic weight in gram per valence or charge per formula. Here we can see also the diagram. Here we have a root hair. Root hair. We have hydrogen ions can be seen hovering. This is the part of the plant. As you can see the, the root. And in this part we have carbon, carbon dioxide. Here we have carbon dioxide. Therefore, carbon dioxide plus water, we get H2O C, H2CO3. This is carbonic acid, which then produces hydrogen carbonate or hydrocarbonate plus hydrogen. This hydrogen now, as you can see, the first step, a clay particle which is negatively charged binds cations. Therefore, it binds the cations. Therefore, as you can see here, there is a hydrogen that is coming out from the root. And this hydrogen now comes to replace the, 
the positive the, the 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 potassium is being replaced by hydrogen therefore a clay particle which is negative charge binds cations therefore this one binds the cation therefore we have the calcium ion magnesium ion potassium ion potassium ion magnesium and others this is the, a negative charge therefore cations tend to be attracted by this uh, negative charge the second thing the cations are exchanged for hydrogen ions obtained from carbonic acid h2 or h2co3 or from plant itself therefore the cations are exchanged for hydrogen ion therefore cations are we can see here we have potassium it have been exchanged by a proton this is a hydrogen it has repressed it is repressed this potassium as we can see there therefore this potassium has been as we can see it has been replaced stage 3 mineral cations are released into the soil solution therefore in this case now when this clay particle which is negatively charged then there is exchange that is taking place therefore this exchange we can see that it is the removal the the proton uh, the cation is being removed and the proton hydrogen binds to the negatively charged clay also we have a diagram here this is the soil solution as you can see the soil solution contains many things we have calcium ions magnesium ions potassium ions aluminium ions hydrogen ions and sodium ions and here we have the root hair the root hair we can see the root hair this this area here this is the root hair then also we have this part here and we have the clay particles remember the clay particles are the one which are negatively charged these ones now that is the case now then cation exchange capacity you can see we have a and b now this one is the soil solution In the soil solution we have many 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 things here we have the bounded cations bounded cations this magnesium calcium potassium calcium magnesium calcium and we have the these here in the center these are the the negative charge these are the the cations the and, and the, the the anions 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 can be sulfate nitrate chloride chloride uh, uh, iron we have the high hydrophosphorus etc therefore this is negatively charged soil particle this is the negatively charged soil capacity this one and this one now then 